Hello, my name is David Izumo. I'm a principal engineer in technical marketing with Live Action, and I'm based out of Honolulu, Hawaii. In this video, we'll be talking about the Live Action LiveNX integration with Cisco's APIC EM. Now, earlier with APIC EM, we deployed Cisco IOAN to multiple sites. In this case, to our hub data center in San Jose in the upper left-hand corner, as well as our New York City transit hub in the upper right, along with a major branch down in Miami, and this is branch one. These sites are interconnected by two separate service providers, the internet provider, as well as the MPLS provider. Now, just recently, we also deployed a new branch out in Chicago. To learn of this inventory from APIC EM with Live Action, we'll go back to the LiveNX web UI. So here's the web UI that you'll be presented with when you log in to LiveNX. To learn of that new site, we'll go to main, or we'll go down to the configure button and choose APIC EM management. Here's where you're able to set the IP address as well as the credentials for APIC EM. We already did that, so we'll go ahead and discover the new site. Now we're presented with a brand new router out in Chicago. Now click expand and we'll be able to show you the details of this site. So there we learn the site is Chicago. There's the IP maps associated with that site, basically the LAN addresses. We'll optionally create a new device group. We'll call that Chicago. LiveNX also learned of all of the interfaces in this router. There's Tunnel 10. It's connected off to the MPLS service provider. Therefore, we know it's a WAN interface. And the capacity of that link is 300 megabits. We also learned Tunnel 11. That's connected off to the internet service provider. It, too, is a WAN circuit. So we learned the capacity as 10 megabits per second. To add this device, We'll simply click on this check mark or this checkbox here in the upper left hand side and click Add Devices. As simple as that, we've learned that brand new site. We added it to LiveNX for management. We can confirm that by clicking on the menu again. We'll go to Main and we'll choose Devices. Notice that we have this brand new site, Chicago, and that router associated with it. Let's go back to the LiveNX topology view. So here we go. And as I zoom out a little, notice that there's the Chicago site. I'll double click that box to expand the group. It will automatically refresh the flows and there's the flows going through all of these devices across those various service providers. So with this topology view, you're able to really understand all of the application flows and track how Cisco IOAN is moving that traffic from one provider to the next. Now, along with the APIC EM integration, we also have new capabilities in the web UI to track site to site conversations. So let's go back to the web UI. To do this, we can click on the menu and we'll go to stories. In this case, we'll choose site to site analysis. This will bring up a brand new core diagram where we can track all of the different conversations and all of the bandwidth and utilization from site to site. Now in this enterprise example, we see that there's a lot of traffic from San Jose going off to Los Angeles. By clicking on that cord, it'll bring up the detail view in this Sankey diagram where we can track all those flows from Los Angeles to San Jose. We break it up by applications here on the left-hand side. We can track it by DSCP value and see how those applications moved across various service provider links and also provide you with status as well. Now, by simply clicking on this playback button on the bottom, we can see how all of those application flows are moving across the system from Los Angeles to San Jose over these various provider links to better understand how Cisco IWAN is managing the traffic. So I hope this little video helps you understand the power that LiveNX brings in really managing Cisco IWAN and in also 
better seeing the capabilities of the LiveNX integration with Cisco APIC EM.